there are people that have told me in therapy that they enjoyed their childhood SA. There's so much to unpack here because someone who has survived SA um, is not mentally mature enough to understand how life is playing out for them and maybe why it's playing out the way it is for them. And they just need a little bit of assistance to figure out how to get from point A to point B in either love, life, or career, or internal happiness and wellness. And um, it's very hard for someone who still feels a lot of uneasy emotions about their essay experience. So they look at love through different lenses. They look at their self-worth differently. They analyze their place in the world from an unstable foundation. And they can benefit from being able to juxtapose that and just work on seeing the world differently, seeing their value differently, and seeing what is possible for them. Yeah, it's good for them to learn to live in the land of possibility and yes and and what next instead of ugh and dread and confusion and sadness and despair or what other emotions? Unworthiness. Self-worth is very important for the essay survivor who wants to have a more fulfilling life. And after that, they can have a better connection with God as well. But when they were neglected, if you listen to the whole interview from this guy, I mean, the whole TikTok he made, he does go on to speak about how these people, survivors, me, us, we were somewhat neglected as children. Parents are gone all the time or X, Y, Z, no matter what it is. But there is a form of neglect or not enough love in their real household and someone else showed them that so bad love equals good love and these people need to learn that good love is good love and bad love is not the type of love that you want <laughs>